What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back in here with another video. But this is another triple threat reaction for y'all. And first thing foremost, sorry if y'all hear, if y'all do hear it or not. Well, you probably are hearing it, but if you don't, well, if you do, sorry. It's my dad playing music. You know, I can't do anything about it. But I hope I'm loud enough for y'all. And if I'm a bit too loud, turn me down a little. Just say. But we're here, like I said, with another triple threat reaction. So first and foremost, gotta check. Yeah, I'm recording. So sorry about that. That was my mom who came in there. Sorry, y'all saw a little cut. But yeah, like I'm saying, we about to check this first one out, and which is Mr. Otaku Underworld in the building, slick with Gangsta Otaku. So. We about to check this first one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the first video. My let go. Shout out to our attack one. Man, stop fucking playing with me. I know I fucking do this shit, nigga. <laughs> Shout out Sivian Galaxy. You think you fucking with slick cap? Don't talk about Wonder Road. We ain't no trannies. We just some niggas. Some big rags. Ain't they talking slavery? But I'm. Otaku. We ain't trannies. We just some nigga with big. Racks. Click cap, don't talk a wonder road. We ain't no trannies, we just some niggas with some big, big racks. racks. Ain't they talking slavery, but all that bravery be the reason niggas get whacked. Don't, don't play the guardian like you a hero, my nigga. You was never Chris Pratt. Don't, don't you forget that, little bitch. I'm breaking the fourth floor, that should tell you I don't give a fuck. I'm dripping so much, you might need a snark. Oh, you ain't underworld, then you a car ball. Bitch, sleeping on me, it'll cost y'all. Better buy you the great like Walmart. Mm. Hey, that's one thing I gotta say. With one thing with on. on with, with. One thing with Taco Underworld, they ain't, they ain't nothing to sleep on. Because with them, Rumble World, The Loop Collective, and many more, and probably many other groups in Nerdcore, let's face it, Otaku Underworld is like, without due respect, well, it's like this, without due respect to the other, collect, other like groups and such in Nerdcore, let's face it, Otaku Underworld is like, at the top of it. If we're if we're like talking about who's running who's like running nerdcore in like groups and such, Otaku Underworld is there. I'm just saying, if you don't like it, fight me. You ain't underworld, then you a car ball, bitch sleeping on me, it'll cost y'all. Better buy you the great like Walmart. Hit the mull and I cop shit, Paul Blood, you just all talk on the Vaughn Broad. Cause you know how that nigga loves to talk. <laughs> you just all talk the bar bar. That nigga, I swear, that man is something else. And hey, this one is say slick. Shout out to you now, nigga. You start. Hey, make sure y'all go read. Make sure y'all go check. Out. Well, it's like this. He just did a reaction to like the nerdcore cipher, the part three one. Make sure y'all go check that out for him. Cause hey, the fact that now my man is my man is gonna start doing reaction channel. He might. He's he are he has like a reaction channel. There's no videos yet. But make sure y'all go just subscribe to him because sooner or later when he starts doing that, oh my god, y'all not, I know for a fact you ain't gonna, so the same way how he is in his music, you ain't gonna touch him when he comes to his reaction. Just saying. Buy you the great like Walmart. Hit the mull and I cop shit. Paul Blood, you just all talk to LeVar Ball. But I'm all that Jimmy Lynn Spear. Switch gears, ain't no living in fear. Any stage niggas on, I've been clear. Think you leveled up, well, it ends here. Said he bought it, but he wasn't sincere. So I made him wish he never went there. Some motherfucker critics see my skin layer. Bitch, I know I'm blowing up this year, okay? I'm Kim Pachi with the play. Wait, special beam up with a cannon. I'm Piccolo. All my niggas big and great. Hey, they whipping water when they on that corner. My and the thing is with Slick is, even though he. Oh, sorry. That was not doing because you know who. And like I said, guys, if you hear the music, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can because, yeah. But the thing is with Slick is, even though he's known as the anime drill, because he's, because in a way, that's his lane. 
don't get it twisted. This nigga can. We've seen many in his career and such that he can go over any other beats, whether it's be the drill ones, the hip hop ones, R and B, anyone. So that just shows you the versatility. In, but we just well with the way how he sticks to that anime drill, and he and not to say that he's the one who created it, but the one who like does it perfectly. What can I say? You might as well do, do call it, but don't get it twisted. He can go into other lanes too. Special beam over the cannon, I'm piccolo. All my niggas big and great. Hey, they whipping water when they on that corner. My nigga lock up cause he slay. Yay, I hit a lick on a nigga, no home of the freaks. Come out at night, fake stay. Y'all better make way. Wet a nigga up like a tar. I put him in a coffin, call me Gara. My bitch for the day is me too hard. But expect a different one tomorrow. I don't rent these bitches, I just borrow. Dogging all these bitches like I'm Carl. She want me to boom like Kimmy Morrow. I am God, so kiss the ground, I walk on. Hey man, y'all better subscribe to Slick man. And like I said, like I said, you see right here, man, y'all better go click on it because my man was doing, he was doing his thing on that reaction. So y'all better go support the man. And if y'all support Otaku Underworld, sorry about that. If y'all support Otaku Underworld and Slick, y'all better. Y'all make sure y'all go check out their reactions, check out all of their like vlogs or music, mostly their music. Just make sure you check them out because like I said, of which group in Nerdcore who's running the game, I gotta say, Otaku Underworld. Because let's face it, almost half this year, it's mostly been Otaku Underworld. Sure, there's been like some few members of the loop here and there. Some from of like freaking Rumble World here and there, but let's face it, Otaku Underworld is like anytime when you see like a slick feature or or Hastic or Callan B or Savad or basically any or any other member of Otaku Underworld, you know they repping that shit with pride. Hey, with a free soul and shit, like come on, man. You know Otaku on the world, so hey, you know they on top, so hey, like I said, shout out to Slick and shout out to Otaku on the world, make sure y'all go support them, man, all of them. But either way now, we on to the next song now, which is a rhyme, rhyme, alchemist by Connor Chris. <laughs> and let's face it, with anything that calls about rhyming, and with this nigga kind of quest, you about to get a whole man. This man, all I can say is with kind of quest, when it comes to wordplay and rhyme schemes and such, nobody's touching him. I don't care who you say you is. You may say you better, but let's face it. In this nerd core, Connor is like the word play and rhyme, rhyme scheme king. But let's get it. Bring this back a little bit, but now we gotta show him that respect. We want that crispy Bill Bixby nigga face you talking. We want that crispiness. Let's get that crispy. So crispy, my like, chop up your make your eyes go. That's that crispy. We want that crispy, crispy. What is you talking about? Give my respect. You gotta give respects to. You. Let's go. I'm the ugly duckling, diamond with rough skin, callous hands, told the line, and I tucked it for you, mug. Sip a bucket for a show, I'm just spiking my punches. You out there, sniffing white girl, put spice in your pumpkins. Prick went on the mic. Wait, run that back again, what you said? Run that back again, what you said? Dip for you, mug. Sip a bucket for a show, I'm just spiking my punches. Sip a, sip a vodka for a show, I'm just spiking my punches. Mm. You out there, sniffing white girl, put spice in your 
you out there sniffing white girl putting spice in your pumpkins break one on the mic but polite when the public because we're all just getting by a little kindness cost nothing uh, not that egg muffin bread and breakfast budget place the rest of noggin before i get to clubbing spliff skins ever cullen they burn easy little sparkle in the rise when the birds see me tell bella word to meet me off a molly on the job that's the perks i guess and when i show up to the party now it's a work event came in uninvited and then overstate my welcome they overhype the trends and then underrate the legends not the role overnight they overhype the trends and underrate the legends. Hold up. Run that again. What do you mean? Do that again. Welcome. They overhyping They overhyped and trends. Trends and then under and then underrate the legends. Nigga, what? If that ain't such a freaking relatable bar. Rate the legends, not the roll overnight again. I pulled a double like I slept with twins, flinging shit to the sticks, and the rest is bin. Quality control or perfectionism, pessimism and depression hitting. Get my mind stoned to direct my vision. What if the fame gets to him and then the message isn't made? Friends, they keep him getting too big for his Fendi kickers. Want that guidance and advise me to check the writtens. Sun the bunch of them, but I ain't bad the nepotism. His bait attention, fish and fled the nest before they get their wings. You only touch the surface if you skim and skip them. Hey, Connor, look, with, it's like this, with him, with Connor, Rustage, and Schwabity, I gotta say, with them three, because like, they're known as like, well, they're like the main known of like the UK bias, but let's face it, them three, when it comes to like, put like their pen, like they rapping, rapping, Trust me, they're untouchable. No welcome to give presents, I don't think he gifted it. But tricks and mirrors, the magician's 60 inches, and they think it's mystic. They got the reality, Oculus Rift. Have to see the bigger picture, man's been docking his switch. Bunch of fans are probably ringing the alarm. Render by me again, what you just said. Not reality, Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift, have to see the bigger picture. Had to see the bigger picture. Man's been docking his switch. Man's been docking his. You see what I mean? This nigga. Gone. Oh. Bunch of fans are probably ringing the alarms because I've not mentioned anime in like a minute and a half. Not changing for. <laughs> that he hasn't mentioned. Bunch of fans are probably ringing the alarms because I've not mentioned anime in like a minute and a half. Not changing for the tennis. I'm not switching on my dogs. Don't need rollies when I've got that only tricks upon my arm. Don't need no rollie cause I got that Omnitrix on from my oh, What you know about that Omnitrix, man? Yeah, some of y'all don't even, man. Some of y'all don't even remember. Ah, shit. Punch myself. But nah, some of y'all don't even know about that Omnitrix, that Ben 10, nigga. Some of y'all do, but nah. Fuck out of here. Let's I'm go. not changing for the tennis. I'm not switching on my dogs. Don't need rollies when I've got that Omnitrix upon my arm. Consolation, a constellation written in the stars. A Jack Harlow, your girl, my handprint is on a ass. Cooking shit, this mission. I'm done. I'm done. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga here. I Jack Harlow, your girl. I got my handprint on. Yep. Yep. This is why I say that. This is why I say this freaking nerdcore community is funny. It's like exciting. Cause come on now. I where man, I don't give a damn what you say if it's corny, nigga. It's for yes. This is how you're supposed to be. Me, this is why I like about. This is why I always say I like. Well, not well to me. I always say I like about music. There's nothing wrong with trying to want to get bars in and such, but try to have fun with it. Cause you, cause even if you want it to be, even if it is your job, make it be fun though. That's all I'm saying. And like bars like this. You written in the stars, a Jack Harlow, your girl, my handprint is on a ass. Cooking shit, this mission. Like, come on now. If you don't think that's a funny bar, instead of bar, it's like this. It's a funny bar. It's a disrespectful bar. And it's a bar that. Why does nobody else ever said that before? Craft, steady, get them envious. They look like Jim with the mask. Mm. You're homophobic. Cause they get green. Can shit this mission and craft, steady, get them envious. They look like Jim with the mask. You're homophobic, go suck a dick. Or if you're female, go rub a clit. What? It's just a tip. Whining and crying like. 
you're homophobic or a dick, or you're a female or rubber clip, you're just a tip. That whole entire scheme right there, just a freaking body, just a freaking gender part right there, gender slash sexuality shit. Phobic, go suck a dick Or if you're female, go rub a clit What? It's just a tip Whining and crying like you're still sucking on your mother's tit I know, it must be hard not being a fucking prick Got a bad bitch, pop in the fit He gets old, habits die hard Showing up like I'm drizzy Still be a local hey. boy at heart I'm the one for the cities I shall my London gig down Then I'm off to the chippy I could be giving them rock vocals I could be giving them pop soulful Anything you give the kid I flip in pressing top moguls Amazon postal, delivery gone global Still a dick, I'll join your stream chat And just drop socials Bean bass is bumping and Damn, still a dick, I'm still dropping on your screens to jump. Hey, this is why I feel like, why I say like, with, this is why I feel like with Nerdcore, like with evolution and such, because it's like this, they're getting to the point of where they're now treated more like artist artists, and not just like Nerdcore artists, just like artists, artists in general, where, talk, talk, like, Basically with songs like this, like, it's basically like you saying it with your chest. They ain't scared of saying shit. Cause let's face it, at one point in the nerdcore, it would have to be like, you have to be with that, you would have to like, be a nerd or whatever, but nah nigga. Like look, with me? Like what, I, man? Y'all already know. I've, if you haven't, I've said in a video where, at the end of this month, I'm gonna give you my experience of being in this nerdcore community for one year, from August at the end of August last year to the end of August this year. So make sure y'all come in. Make sure y'all watch it and whatnot, because I'm gonna wanna talk everything that I wanna say. So make sure y'all pull in. But I'm just set. But basically what I'm going to talk about is how with Nerdcore, it made me do it. Man, it's just something that reconciled with me. I don't know why. It just does. I'm the one of the cities. I show my London gig down. Then I'm off to the chippy. I could be giving them rock vocals. I could be giving them pop soulful. Anything you give the kid, I flip pressing top moguls. Amazon postal delivery gone global. Still a dick, I'll join your stream chat and just drop socials. Bean bass is bumping end dubs on the portable. Rolling deep the wave like been something nautical. Made checks to pay debts from what I say. Running up the main quest, they still stuck on the tutorial. Mm. Running up the main quest, they still stuck on the tutorial. Hey. Oh, you got a new album out now? Transmission. Oh, I gotta check it out. Hey, I g let me know if I should do. Look. For all the. Well, for this one, I'm gonna put up a poll, right? And I want y'all to let me know if I should do it either in a. Like a reaction video or a live stream. Y'all let me know. But we're gonna give him that runtime, man. Got you. Alright. Well, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Cause it's just gonna go in the next song. And it's the last one, which is now Great Book with Monkey D, Luffy Rap, Joy Boy Freestyle Ham Sandwich. Why did the hell did I say Great Boy? My bad. Sorry. My fault. But let's get into it now. Come in. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ham sandwich. Because either way you flip it, the bread comes first. Yeah. Nice tag right there. Ham sandwich. Cause no matter where you look at it, the bread always comes first. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yo, play the hockey sound for. Me. Uh, hey. I heard that they was looking for a problem and they found me. Hey. I've been busy running up a bounty. Numbers on the building, so a nigga isn't counting. I'm the highest in the building. We don't need to do accounting. All my niggas rowdy, standing at attention. Stacking up the money, we've been working toward a pension. Penitentiary mentioned, I'm a ducking niggas federal. Fucking with the mission, and we sent you to the medical. Beige Capone, how I move, I'm a fortress. Crew conglomerate, my niggas is corporate. You ain't pushing it, you won't get a portion. Dead weight, who we. What the? This title does not fit how this beat is. Joey Boy. Nah, this title does not fit 
what this style is right now. Nailed a Morgan. Yummy, yummy on my body absorption. Got a Nami on her body, I course it. Nigga Salter, the motherfucking Morton. Battle Lockins pull his card, I can tell that his fortune is worth what was coming before. I got this blade in my hand, one swing and it'll cut to the core. You wanna get it from my circle, you get stuck at the door. Corona Hollis got himself on the floor. We up in the store. And I request you informing that you've been fucking a whore. Cause you was sucking on my dick when you was up at the store. You ducking the <laughs> Yeah, it's like this with this triple threat reaction. Everybody was coming with pure arrogance, and I love it. We up in the and store. I regret to inform you that you've been fucking a whore because you were sucking on my dick when you was up at the store. You duck in the war, you running from the blood and the gore. See, I don't care, it's in the drink, just give me something to pour. And you just hit the grand line and think it's something to boast. See, I can catch it up to me, a little something to roll. I'm going down my treasure, I'm never dumping the load. I'll die defending my roger, you die from jumping the boat. Damn. Trying to get a better view, no end rule I'm going with this nigga's hobby, hobby, how I got him doing everything I tell him to do. Remember Shuka Hockey, how I'm already ahead of you Water lie, tell him, read the room and hope they get a clue Billy Berry, Bonnie, niggas want me for the revenue Niggas say they know me, but they niggas that I need I'm the niggas that a lot of niggas owe credit to And they never want to see me when the rent is due Yo One thing I've always, what I always say about him is that this, I've got You see why I named him Mr. Switch Up because you never know what style or so this man gonna come with. One minute he gonna come with like that freaky deaky type vibe where he gonna be talking about either anime women like the strong ones or the or the femboy or whatever and so like that that type of style, right? But then this then this man is gonna come with like the freaking as schoolface john will call it the text to speech where anyhow he's gonna rap it might be hard but with the way how he pronounced it so properly <laughs> that type of style and then it's just this one right here where it's just pure arrogance like if you remember from months back i reacted to where he where him and shofu was on a song called replaced that shit was just pure in no rinse. If you haven't, go check out my reaction to that. There was just pure ignorance on there. And the same thing with this one. So with him, that's why I call him Mr. Switch Up because he can switch up how his style can be. Tell them read the room and hope they get a clue Billy, Barry, Bonnie, niggas want me for the revenue Niggas mm. say they know me, but they niggas that I need I'm the niggas that a lot of niggas owe credit to And they never wanna see me when the rent is due But if you try to backstab, it ain't a clever move Get a nigga sunk away and leaving any residue Bottom of the ocean in that dirty murky water Brody Hody off a dirty perky, sturdy lurking martyr Vander dick is like a weapon that'll always hit the marker Marker on the fire, starter flying far the fucking royal Like a burn a lunarian off the hockey, I'm scaring I'm wanna try me, I'm daring I'm trying to blast no parry and cutting through the fire till my opposition's peeking through the wire Never backing up, cause I'm a do or die Look, hot shuck Hockey, my powers awaken. I'm stepping like wiper the ground that I'm quaking. It's sacred, my yes, niggas and move like the worst generation. We hopped on the scene and them niggas was shaking. My shit too amazing. It got frustrated. I'm laughing like Nika. I'm simply elated. You stepping to me, you courageous. The greatest challenge they can never balance. This is hard work with a bit of talent. Now a star burst into bigger yes, status, sir. and I'm simply demanding a bigger power. And that freaking ad lib. Yes, sir. Yo, one thing I've one thing I've learned from school. Look, y'all can say this. I don't care. And school has gone saying about how people learn hip hop. Hey, might as well learn it from him because he's a rapper rapper. He gets what it, he gets how music is. With there's something about a good ad lib like that. And when you, and when you make it so, like make it so fire, you have to put, you have to craft it and make it your own. Cause let's face it, we've seen how in many of our, I'm reacting, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. What's the one? Just close the door. What? That's close. Daddy, yes, mom. Close the door. Close the door. Really, you carry know. But anyway, when it comes to like good music and such, like you've seen in the industry, right? One thing you gotta know, if you have a, I, if you have a hook, I mean like a freaking ad lib that is so fire, that is so like good and such, and that everybody can remember you, trust me, nigga. That's when you know people are gonna remember your 
remember you because with some with and those are like one of the key ones where it's a good ad lib and people can remember you for shit short. Just like I've done the scene and them niggas was shaking my shit too amazing. It got frustrated. I'm laughing like decom. Simply yeah. elated. You step into me, you courageous. The greatest Freaking challenge they can never balance. This is hard work with a bit of yes, talent. Sir. Now a star burst into bigger yes, status. Sir. And I'm simply demanding a bigger palace. And your bitch need a man with a bigger palace. I just follow the path that was laid for me up to the throne of the world. And his vacancy fought with the worst of the towers and made him bleak. Got my 10,000 hours and I paid the fee. I made it. Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Type shit, yeah. bro. Just that joy yeah. boy type shit. Yeah. That yeah. sun god yeah. type yeah. shit, bro. That was just. Hey, look, I made it. Might find something. What nigga? That was. The, there ain't no joy boy type shit. That was that pure ignorance type shit. That was that was about. But hey, shout out to all three of these guys. Shout out to all three of y'all. Slick, Connor, and him. Y'all was just pure ignorance on this one. And I loved every single one of them. Cause y'all was talking y'all shit. And don't give a damn. Y'all was not giving a damn what anybody would say. And trust me, if you're a rapper, no matter if it's nerdcore, mainstream, or whatever, and you wanna talk your shit, talk your shit. Cause that's how it is, especially when it's in nerdcore. Definitely talk your shit. But hey, y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. Let me know which song of these you liked and such. And like I said, watch out for that poll, cause I might have it up. Kinda right. I might have the poll, so be on the lookout for it on my community tab guideline. On my community tab. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. And again, if you hear the music, sorry for that. If you don't, cool. But yeah. But like I said, let me know what y'all thought about this. Lego.